Hello and welcome to another review by SED TV Review Division. Today we are going to talk about Elements Product Roundup. Part 1. Flashlight. Uh, today we are going to show you some weapon light replicas. So we've got some here. And some everyday carry flashlights, but that can be easily mounted on the replica with a proper mount. Now this is far and near double tap flashlight. Uh, Cyclops. Cyclops. Uh, everyday carry tactical flashlight, whatever you call it. It comes with a strap. Now this is a three model tactical flashlight. Yes. Again, uh, this it has strobo and a normal bright light. Uh, high reflection tactical flashlight and we've got large. large. Uh, large because well uh, because of the size of the bulb. Yeah, the bulb is the biggest. Then we've got medium, and again uh, they are equal size almost, but the bulb, the is, bulb smaller. is smaller. Indeed, and exactly. this one really handy, small version. Of it. And the last one okay. is a personal tactical uh, flashlight. Very small, very nice. Runs on one uh, battery and has three modes. All of these are made from uh, aluminium, so they are. Well built, very strong, feel great in the hand. Uh, especially, in my opinion, these small two are well made. No molds whatsoever. And really, you if you don't know that they are well Chinese made, you, you, you wouldn't you would guess. You wouldn't would guess. Before I do this, I have to mention that it is a it is a end of November in here, <laughs> and it's pretty cold. So appreciate it, right? Yeah. Weapon light replicas. Uh, we have uh, two types of them. I mean, three types. Three. Four types. Four. Whatever. Okay. Here we have uh, mini scout lights. Scout lights replicas. So it's uh, M300 mini scout light and M600 scout. Light. Bigger weapon lights. Yes. The biggest one. It's M62 uh, weapon light. It uh, runs on three lithium batteries, or rather quite rechargeable. Yep. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be pretty bright, but this one is. Yes. So, so I guess for for this uh, light, we we recommend you to use uh, high voltage uh, rechargeables. Uh, okay, it has a proper mount, not QD one. Very cool. Uh, the only drawback of this is that it has a different color from the original. The original is a bit grayish. This, yeah, is, yeah, yeah. this is black. Okay. Here we have an M, uh, M951 uh, replica, also the same as this one. It's black, supposed to be greyish, but other than that, looks pretty cool. And the last one of the series is my favorite, uh, M952V, uh, which in original is also a LED light. Uh, it has a, a UV yeah, IR light. In here we have strobe. But it's pretty cool. Check this out. They're strong. They are really, really strong. Yes, it's really mm -hmm. strong. So, so if you want to blind your opponent uh, in a CQB uh, skirmish, they are perfect. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This one comes with a uh, QD, QD mount. mount. Uh, on the rail, on the original night armament rail, it fits pretty good. However, on the aftermarket replicas, there might be some more. Yeah. Uh, my personal favorite, so it's M uh, 910A. Yeah, vertical foregrip weapon light. Yes, vertical foregrip weapon light. It runs on three lithium batteries and it really, really looks great, feels great. So by pressing here or here, you get the light. Uh, there are two small LED lights here, so you can do what? Yeah, it's like you, you can blind a fly with that. Okay. Right. Then we've got something. Well, it's a mutant. I don't like it. Yeah, it's strange. It it's runs strange. on four lithium batteries. So we're gonna check it later. Uh, so it has also a laser, laser module. So looks ugly. Looks ugly. However, it's quite big. You can kill it with 
If for some reason you don't like rails on your M4, yes, but you love flashlights and you want to, you. you want to be like a SWAT member. Well, this little baby, little, is well made for you. It, it, fits, it fits standard M4 uh, front handguard, right? So it's only for the M4 length. Move on. All right. Now in here we have two uh, special forces issue uh, yeah. SU two three three. Uh, flashlights. Yes. <laughs> this is M3 flashlight. This one is a long version, runs on two batteries. And this is a short, short version which runs on two batteries. Yeah. <laughs> Press the switch and it's plastic. Uh, and with comparison with these, I like but uh, no, aluminium. This feels like a toy, really. However, it looks done. it looks as original. Almost. Yeah. Okay, now let's move on. We also got for you a Back 16 replica, a current USMC issue. It says a flashlight. Yeah, it's here. a flashlight and, and a laser a pointer. Laser pointer with a LED illuminator, which is a little addition that is not really useful because yeah. the light is the blue light is not quite strong. Okay, however, these comes in tan or black or and in sets of these. This is Pack 16 replica, uh, M3 long. And a remote control for both of them. And a laser. Fire, fire the laser. Yeah, fire the laser. Ah, it's a VIP light ear seal version. Yes, yeah, so VIP light seal. VIP light IR CR. Seal version, dummy. Yeah. So, you can attach it to your Molly gear. Looks nice, look but cool. it doesn't work. Yes. The last one is a. Helmet flashlight. Helmet flashlight. No, it's, it's called. They call it helmet light set. Uh, it can be mounted on a uh, Mitch replica like this one we have here. Uh, however, you need to find a way to prevent it from moving because we have wobbles. Or it can be mounted via this adapter to a uh, Picantini rail oil. on your helmet if you have one. Okay, this one runs on a single lithium battery. Uh, it has LED, blue LED output. It's not strong, however, it well, just for the looks, it just for the okay. looks, just for the looks. You know how they look. You know more or less how they work. However, let's see how they perform on the replica. Uh, in a minute, we're gonna go down to a dungeon to a dungeon to save us some princes uh, from the ugly clouds of. Demon bears. I'm sorry, bears. It's <laughs> fine. It's fine. Okay, so we did some field testing yeah. and well, generally they performed quite well. We saved the princess. Yes, we did. Killed a lot of bears. Yeah. Uh, okay, bear in mind that these all are lead lamps. So and it means that against the thick smoke no. they don't work very well, nicely. No, not good. Yeah, yeah. not good enough. Uh, no air filters. Okay. Yeah. So forget so. about night vision and these. Yes. However, they're, just, they're quite bright. Good battery life. LED lamps. Decent flashlights. Yeah, so decent flashlights. Well built, you don't worry to drop one. Uh, however, uh, the beam is quite focused, so you illuminate uh, certain spots, not the whole areas. Yeah. Uh, however, this one here, the two way, has a pretty cool feature, so it has uh, spot and spot, like? Oh, uh, no. this is, this All right, spot. you see, spot, spot and spot. whole area. Aluminium ones are well built, plastic ones are. Well, well, but less. yeah, less. so it's not the best option. Okay, 
And I guess that's all. Yeah. Pretty good lamps. So if, if you're looking for a good replica, uh, well built, that well, looks like a that looks general. like a, the real one. Well, yeah. is the option because well, I, I don't know if you have any options on the market except these and the original. No, 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 no. probably not. So, cool, cool, more or less. Yeah. because I put it backwards. <laughs> you did?